Johnny Bill's Unbreakable Things. Hello and welcome back to another episode. This episode for the Radiator Support is going to be a two-parter. In part one, today I'll be cutting the pieces for the frame and welding those together. I'm going to start by measuring and cutting out the frame pieces. For material, I'm going to be using 6061 aluminum channel with a 5 inch width. I'm welding the corners and I'm using 1500 watts with the pulse setting at a lower speed. And I'm using 40, 43 wire running out about 12 inches per minute. 2 Hz on the pulse frequency at 75% duty cycle and 25 Hz on the wobble frequency with a 4 mm wide wobble width. Here's a pro tip for you. I am using 40, 43 filler wire because it gives a better bond with the 60, 61 aluminum. Another interesting thing about using laser welding and specifically the wobble feature is that it helps absorb some heat in the part so it mixes and stirs the filler wire with the base material more completely for a stronger weld. Okay, so the smaller angle piece or L bracket piece you see is going to hold the, the air conditioning or AC condenser, the main 5 inch U channel. That is for the radiator, but that small piece, that is for the AC condenser. For this L bracket, I'm using the same pulse settings, wobble frequency that I use on the corners. The big difference is I am reducing the power to 1200 watts versus 1500 watts on the corners. Fume extraction is very important when doing any kind of welding. I highly recommend an inline spark arrester for your fume extractor to avoid any potential fire hazards. Okay, that wraps up part one. Join me for part two where I'll be adding support brackets and welding the radiator into place.